I mentioned the festive use of chicken wire in the open now, didn't I? Well, we're going to come to that part right now and we're going to use that chicken wire and some pretty cheap pieces of wood to make this. We began by taking these inexpensive pieces of wood and mitering the corners in order to make kind of a nice frame. We used glue, mending plates, and wood joiners to bring these corner joints together and it all came out looking, eh, pretty rough. But that is how it's supposed to look. Once you've got your frame, whether it's a really well-made one that you put together with your own two hands or one that you went out and cheated on and bought in a store, you're ready to put your special assistants to work. In this case, I have my grandson Beckett and my granddaughter Zoe and Taylor go to work cutting out pictures. Once they had the pictures ready, they use these little tiny clothespins to hang photos, and you can hang greeting cards or any other number of things to that chicken wire, but they used photos. This is what the finished product looks like. I drafted my wife to whitewash this frame, and I think it looks pretty nice. You can kind of see the grain in here. You see the, the knots in the wood, and I'll tell you what, the whole project probably cost maybe 10 bucks, if that. It was a great project. It's fun to work on with your family. A lot of these projects are fun projects to work on your family, and you don't have to just confine that kind of activity, of course, to the holiday season, although that's when it seems like a lot of people do this stuff. But I would encourage you to look online where we found all the projects that we did today. Find some things that you can do year long, 12 months a year with your kids, with your family. Those projects bring people together, and they're fun, and, and you get some pretty cool things out of it uh, as an end result. So. We really appreciate your watching Barn Banter. We hope you have a great holiday and we hope to see you again next time.